Hello and welcome to this Moodle video on using Turnitin and creating multiple submission parts. So I'm going to add an activity or resource and choose Turnitin Assignment. Select Add and give my assignment a name. I also need to complete the summary section and then follow the normal standard procedure for uh, creating a Turnitin Assignment. So I need to choose more than one part to be able to demonstrate this, so I'll choose five. I'm going to leave everything else as, as standard, but this is where you'd normally select kind of what you want it to do. I'm going to save and return to course. I then need to enter the assessment area that I've created, and you can see that I've got parts one to five, but they were created on the date that I created the box. So what I'm now going to need to do is change uh, each of those to have their own specific date and maybe change the name. So on the right hand side there you saw the little sort of piece of paper and pen icon. Click that for edit and then I can fill in the boxes. So I call this first part introduction and I choose the correct dates that it needs to be done. The start date is when the piece of work can be start. They can start handing the work in from. The due date is when is this due and the post date is when are they expecting it to be marked or completed and sent back to them for them to access and check their feedback. Now the reason that didn't work was I, I filled it in, but on the post date I changed it to January, but it was set to January 2014, which is obviously before uh, the start and the due date. So I need to make sure that if I'm going between years, I, I check and set the, the correct date to 2015 from the 2014 case, and so on and so forth. Now you can see that it's changed the assessment part uh, and called it introduction draft. So I'll go to part two and keep going through this pr pr uh, sort of process completing it as I go with all the correct dates, uh, times uh, for handing and when they can start submitting from. Now you can see that it's put the introduction final at the very bottom of that list. And the reason for that is because the date is now after all the other parts date. But as I go through an SS of edit and change the different assessment names and start dates, uh, what you'll see is they'll all order according to their correct hand in date. So the first thing or the thing that needs to be completed first will be at the top and the last piece that needs to be sort of submitted will be at the very bottom. If you create a, a box in, in error, uh, you can delete it. Next to edit, there is a little sort of waste paste paper basket icon. Click that and it will delete the uh, part that you've created. So maybe you've created five like I have in this example, and I only wanted four. I could delete one of those parts if I didn't, didn't need it. So part five I don't need. I'm just going to select delete and I'm left with the four parts in order according to their start dates uh, and with all the due dates. The submission number inbox will then list each sort of part separately, uh, but at the moment no submissions have actually been made, so it's there ready for all your different people to submit their different parts to. Thank you very much for watching this particular video.